Low cost. Lifestyles and health and sustainability. Um, who here does Pilates? Anybody always like to ask that question? I'm not staying tomorrow, but maybe when we're done, can you just explain Pilates? Martial arts and the stretching. Stretching. I know who works in work. It's like yoga. Um, Echinacea? Anybody? Yeah. Um, Personal uh, counseling workshops. Yeah. Yeah. Like you go to the gym, go on walks. Mm -hmm. That's a nice, good sneakers to do that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that whole thing right now, you're not the only one. Two hundred billion dollars. Two hundred billion dollars. Low cost. Right now, of our economy. That's not a little bit of money. That's a lot of money. Hold on to that number. Now we're going to look at. Clean tech. That last year, look at the biofuels, wind, solar, fuel cells. Those are the gray bars. Then we have the orange bars, where those numbers will be in 10 years. Look at that. <coughs> those are huge jumps. We add all that up. This last year it was 77 billion dollars. So that's with a B. Took me a while to stop saying million. Billion dollars. In 10 years, it's going to be 254 and a half billion dollars. Half a billion dollars is 500 million dollars. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot of money. So that's what's happening in these industries. So for us, as we started looking at this, understanding that climate change is actually real. That Al Gore wasn't making it up as much as some of the Republicans wish that he was. As much as actually some days I wish that he was. He's not. Um, in fact, that's only, sadly, the tip of the iceberg. No one's begun to discuss water. And what happens when there isn't enough anymore from where people have been living? All those, who lives in those wonderful desert states? Anybody in the Southwest? That's mm -hmm. like a, a, just a city in the middle of a desert? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. L.A., Phoenix. Um, there's a lot of places that just, as there's less water, make less sense to live there. And that's the United States. People got stuff. When you start talking about Asia, Africa, Latin America, less. Less. We got people now living off of a 20-gallon a drum every two weeks. What happens when that's a 20-gallon drum every three months? So Al Gore is at the tip of the iceberg with climate. Climate is important. I'm not suggesting that it isn't, but it's just one of many things. So we see three possible futures. One is this ego apocalypse. Now, we just don't get it together. We decide that it's actually too hard to survive together, so we're going to perish by ourselves as fools. Yeah? Um, that's a bad outcome. I think I, I, I think, and I, you know, I only even have to do a show of hands. If I trust y'all. I think y'all are on my side suggesting that this is a bad idea. <coughs> oh yeah. Um, who remembers Mad Max? Remember that first one? Yeah. It was like really cool. Some people. Okay, Reddit. It's, it's interesting. Um, but it's like that, only worse. Because in Mad Max, everything was just dry, right? This is dry, and then flooding, and then pestilence, and then you know, it's just not a good day. Um, the other thing, the other possible future, you got eco apocalypse, eco apartheid, which is basically summed up in this idea of you have the eco haves and the eco have nots, and you're beginning to see that happen already, right? In certain sides of the city, you have um, you have the yoga studio, you got your organic health food, you got the solar panels and the hybrids. And then across the freeway on the other side of town, you have cancer clusters, asthma epidemics, um, only liquor stores with um, refined sugar as the main ingredient in most of the foods. We're beginning to see that now. And um, this is really concerning to us. We think this is not the way forward at all. Either of these things, I think you will agree, bad outcomes. Bad outcomes. But there's a third one, eco-equity, eco-equity, where we come together to solve the problem. Problem 
probably, quite possibly, I'm going to suggest understated, and can you hear me hedging my bets right here, right now? <coughs> Maybe the biggest challenging face in the human family ever. Ever. And the solution we think is eco equity. That we get everybody, everybody in there, shoulder to shoulder, pulling as hard as we can to turn this thing around. But that's our only hope. So, how do we?